making the truffle beanie. <laughs> Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make my truffle beanie. This beanie is really cool. It has a lot of detail. I'm a big fan of textured crochet stitches and that is what you get with this beanie. It's really, really cool. In order to do this project, you need to be an advanced beginner crocheter. I'm gonna label it as an easy pattern. You basically need to be able to do a front post double crochet stitch and a back post double crochet stitch, because that's the extent of this entire pattern, is front post and back post double crochet stitches. If at any point in this video you're enjoying the content, having fun, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell, and then click all. That way you get notified whenever I release a brand new video. Video. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, tips and tricks, fun giveaways. We have a lot of fun on this channel and you are not going to want to miss out. If you want a little bit more from this channel, check out my membership programs. I have a brand new membership program with three levels. I have the loyal supporter. I have the pattern vault where you get access to all of my patterns. And I also have the crafters gathering. In the crafters gathering, we get together twice a week where I get to see you, I get to talk to you, we have fun. It's like we're in the same room together and we get to talk about all things crochet and yarn and it's really cool forming that community and getting to know my followers a little bit better. So check out my membership program. It's really, really neat. Also, if you want some behind the scenes, behind the camera action, check out my Instagram. On my Instagram, I have what projects are coming up, what materials you're going to need for upcoming projects and just a little bit of a look at what things are like behind the camera for me here at Crochet with Tiffany. Ah, it's just good times, good times, lots of fun over here. The pattern for the truffle beanie you can find in both the description section and comment section below this video. All you have to do is click on that link, purchase the pattern, and be ready to crochet with me. As always, you do not need to purchase the pattern in order to make this project. Just follow along with me. In this video, I will have step-by-step -step instructions on the screen for you to follow so you can make this beanie just by watching this video. Though I am including a chart in the pattern so you can make this beanie in whatever size that you wanna make it from preemie all the way up to large adult. I got you covered in this chart that I made in the pattern. All right, cool. When you are ready to go, let's go ahead and dive right into what materials I used to make the truffle beanie. The materials that you're going to need to make your truffle beanie will include a size five weight yarn, bulky, chunky, 12 ply or seven WPI sized yarn. I used two of wands, Hue and Me. I loved the colors, all the colors. I thought they were all beautiful. So whatever color that you wanna use really, or any size five weight yarn will be fine. This yarn in particular, is 80% acrylic and 20% wool. So if you do have a wool allergy, you may want to substitute this for another yarn, but that is exactly the type of yarn that I used to make this beanie. Now I used a whole skein to make an adult medium sized beanie. This skein includes 137 yards or 125 meters, 4.4 ounces or 125 grams of yarn. All right, there should be just enough for you to make an adult large size beanie. And of course, if you're making anything smaller, one skein will be enough to accommodate. All right, so I'm going to use a crochet hook size K101 slash two or a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, yarn needle, tapestry needle to weave in all the ends. And a measuring tape will be good to help guide you as you are doing your dimensions because in the pattern I did include a chart that helps you guide the size of the beanie you're going to want to make for whatever age group that you're aiming for right there. All right. Now the pom pom, I am not making the pom pom in this video. At the end of this video, I will direct you to a couple videos that I made for different types of pom poms that you can create. If you would like to add a pom pom on the top of the, of this beanie in particular, or honestly, 
You could just remove the pom-pom and this is a really beautiful beanie all on its own. All right, we, I will have links to everything that you see here in the comment section and description section below this video. So if you need to get your hands on anything, just click on that link, purchase the item and have it shipped directly to you. Uh, otherwise, go ahead and grab whatever materials that you wanna utilize for this project. And let's go ahead and get started making the truffle beanie. All right, so we will begin with our yarn and our crochet hook. Go ahead and start with a long enough tail for us to weave in the end at the end of the project. Create your slip knot, attach your crochet hook, and we are ready to begin. Now we begin this beanie by making the brim of the beanie. We're starting at the bottom and working our way to the top here. All beanie sizes will have the same width for the brim here. So no matter what size beanie you are making, let's start by chaining seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. All right, for row one of our brim, you're going to single crochet in the second chain from your crochet hook. So not including the loop that's on your hook, look at your V-stitches. So we got one V, two V. So single crochet in that second V-stitch or that second chain, and then make one single crochet stitch in each chain all the way down. You should end with a total of six single crochet stitches. So there's two, three, four, five, and six. Great. All right, so for row two, we're going to chain one we will turn our work. Now for row two, we will single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across. You should end row two with a total of six stitches here. So look at your stitches here from the front, turn them so you can look at the tops of them and see those V's on the top there. We will take our crochet hook, insert in the middle of that V, and only go in the back loop only. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Great, okay, next stitch, find the V on the top, back loop only. Perfect, all right, go ahead and repeat all the way across. Three, four, five, Six, perfect. All right, so for the rest of your brim, all you are doing is repeating row two. Now, depending on the size of the beanie that you are making, will determine how many rows that you will need to make. You can either look at the chart where I have uh, set up all the different sizes of beanies, and then how many rows you will need to make for the brim. I'll even put a picture of that chart, boom, right here on the side for a quick reference for you, though it is kind of nice to have the pattern so that way you can just have all of the information right there for you. All right, so chain one, turn your work, go ahead and repeat row two until you have met the number of rows that you need for your particular brim. Let me get through this so I can help you count your rows so that way you can make sure you're on track. All right. So looking at your stitches here, if you see a peak where it's peaking up, it takes two rows to make that peak. All right, so that would be two plus one. So I have three here. If I looked at the other side of my work, here I go. I have one peak, so that's one, two, and then plus one, so three. So every time you see one of those peaks, you got one row on one side and one row on the other side of it. All right, go ahead and keep going, and I will meet you at the end of your brim to show you what we do next.
great. I have just reached the end of row 44 for my brim here. So I am making an adult medium sized beanie just because that size fits me the best, but you should have ended wherever you wanted your brim size to end. All right. Okay. So once we have made it to the end of our brim, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and then take both ends and put one on top of the other. And we will slip stitch these ends together. So I'm going to take my crochet hook, go into the stitch, go the other side, into that first stitch, yarn over, pull all the way through, and slip stitch, and continue all the way across. There we go, great. All right, once we've reached the end here, take your brim and I want you to fold it inside out. That way that slip stitch, that join we just made is pivoting inward and camouflage is better. Whereas this side really pronounced, it sticks out really pronounced. So I'm just gonna hide that in the inside just like that. So hopefully your tail is facing the same direction that your crochet hook is. I'm gonna take that tail, I'm gonna tuck it away. We're gonna weave that in. We're not gonna crochet over it. We're gonna weave that in so it's secured in a lot better. Perfect. Now we are ready to work the body of the beanie. Go ahead and chain two. One, two. That chain two does not count as a stitch. Okay, for row one or round one of our beanie, the main body of our beanie, we will make one double crochet stitch in the side of each row that we made for our brim. So I made a total of 44 rows in my brim, so I should have a total of 44 double crochet stitches by the end of round one. Depending on how many rows that you made in your brim, you should have that same number of double crochet stitches for round one of your brim. To figure out where to put your crochet hook, look at your peaks, okay? You're going to make one double crochet stitch on each side of the peak. So I'm gonna go on this side, one and two perfect find my next peak here okay one and two let me slow that down get real close to this so again here's the peak yarning over one and the other side of the peak Two, and it doesn't have to be anywhere specific. There, there are some spots that are better to insert your crochet hook than others, but honestly, as long as you make two double crochet stitches for each peak, one on one side, one on the other, you should be good. And keep your count, count your double crochet stitches, and you should have the same number of double crochet stitches that you did make rows for your brim. All right, so go ahead and make your way all the way around. I'll meet you at the end. Whoops, there we go. I'll meet you at the very end to show you how we will join this together and start working this really cool pattern. And last stitch space here, this is number 44 for me. When you reach the very last stitch, you will slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet to close this round, round one. 
ignore the chain two. Remember that chain two does not count as a stitch. So completely skip over it, find that first double crochet stitch and slip stitch into the top of that. Great. For row two or round two, we will chain two, one, two. Again, that chain two does not count as a stitch. We will begin by making one front post double crochet stitch around the same double crochet we just slip stitched into. So yarn over, find that first double crochet stitch. If you need to put a finger on the side or on each side of that stitch to help you, that helps me with my post stitches. You're gonna take your crochet hook, come at the side of that stitch, to the other side of that stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Great, so there is your front post double crochet stitch. Next, you will make a back post double crochet stitch around the next three stitches. So finding your next double crochet stitch, yarn over, take your crochet hook, come from the back, like follow your finger right there, push that stitch back and go that way, yarn over, pull through, and it'll be like you're flossing that stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Great. Next stitch, back post, double crochet. Next stitch, back post, double crochet. Great. And then this is the repeat pattern. Front post double crochet and then one back post double crochet over the next three stitches. And then front post, back post, back post, back post. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round two. And I will meet you at the end of round two to show you how we will close round two and what we do for the rest of the main body of this beanie. Front post, double crochet, back post, double crochet, one, two, three. One, two, and last stitch here, three, perfect. So the count that we have based on the recommended brim size that I have in my chart should evenly get you around the round one or round two, ending with three back post double crochet stitches. And to close round two, you will find that front post double crochet stitch and slip stitch into the top of that. Remember, we are completely ignoring the chain two, doesn't exist. All right, so for the rest of the body, main body of the beanie, you just repeat round two. We start by chaining two. Again, the chain two does not count as a stitch. You will front post double crochet around the front post double crochets and back post double crochet around the back post double crochets, repeating this pattern all the way around and ending by slip stitching into the top of the first front post double crochet stitch and then repeating chaining two and working the same pattern. All right, so if you look at the chart, the chart will indicate to you how many rows you are going to be repeating row two or round two. And I will meet you right after that last round to show you what it means to start decrease back post double crochet. All right? Okay, you've got this, you've got this. You're doing a great job. Keep going. And 
and three perfect slip stitching into the top of the first front post double crochet stitch to close the round. And I have reached the last round for the main body of my beanie. Now looking at the chart that I've created, I am making an adult medium beanie. Okay, so when it comes to the column for the main body of the beanie, mine says that I need to have created 10 rows. So I count that by looking at my back posts right here. And if you pull them, I'm gonna pull, if you pull them apart, you can really identify where the rows are. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then I stop. Depending on which size beanie you are making, look at that same column, find what number you need to make for the main body, and then count that many rows, and then stop. All right, now we are ready for the next step, which is decreasing. So we've reached the top of our beanie and we are ready to start closing it in. For round 11 for me, so this is round 11 for me, I'm gonna chain two, again, does not count as a stitch. I will front post double crochet around the front post double crochet stitch. And then my next stitch will be a decrease back post double crochet stitch. This is how it's going to look. We're going to yarn over, find that first stitch, back post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through only two loops on your crochet hook and then pause. Go to the next stitch, yarn over, back post, There we go. So we should have four loops on our crochet hook. Yarn over, pull through only two loops. Now we have three loops on our crochet hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops on our crochet hook, and that is a decrease back post double crochet stitch. And then make a regular back post double crochet stitch around the next back post double crochet stitch. Perfect. You will continue to front post double crochet around the front post double crochets. That's not going to change. But then the first two back posts right after the front post, you're going to decrease back post double crochet those two stitches. So three, yarn over, pull through only two. Next stitch, yarn over, pull through, got four loops here, yarn over, pull through only two, and then yarn over, pull through all three. Great. And then repeat this pattern all the way around for round 11 for me, or the following round, your very first decrease round. Great, and slip stitch into the top of that first front post, double crochet stitch, just closed. Round 11 for me. Now round 12 for me, or the second decrease row here at the top, we will chain two, one, two. We will continue to front post double crochet over the front post double crochet stitches. Front post, perfect. And then the two back post double crochet stitches, we are going to decrease back post double crochet those two stitches together. So these two I'm going to use as one. There we go. So three loops, yarn over, pull through only two. Then yarn over, back post, round to the next stitch. 
yarn over, pull through only two. There we go, see how that looks? Then yarn over, pull through all three, perfect. And then make a regular front post double crochet stitch around the front post. Let's do that again. So finding the stitch from below, yarn over, back post, yarn over, pull through only two. Next stitch, back post, yarn over, pull through only two. It'll look like that. Yarn over, pull through all three to close. And then front post double crochet around the front post double crochet stitch. And repeat this pattern all the way around to finish this round. Whatever round you are on. For me, I am on round 12. So again, I am making the adult medium beanie. So if you want to reference where I am at and then move up or down on the chart to find out where you should be at in the process. And finishing up this round right here. Great, slip stitch into the top of that first front post double crochet stitch. All right, look at this pattern, isn't that neat? I love texture, that is my favorite kind of stitch when, or to crochet with is a textured stitch. Okay, so the last round right here, looking at the last round column. I am on round 13. I'm going to chain two, one, two. Now for this round, we are doing what I'm calling a decrease front post, back post, double crochet stitch. Because I want to keep these front posts pronounced. I want to keep them sticking forward as we are closing up the top here. So I'm going to yarn over, front post, around the front post, Yarn over, pull through only two loops on my crochet hook. And then I'm gonna yarn over and I'm going to back post around the back post. Yarn over, pull through only two loops on my crochet hook so it'll look like this. And then yarn over and pull through all three loops on my crochet hook. And that is the decrease front post, back post, double crochet stitch. Let's do that again. So yarning over, front post around the front post, pull through only two, then yarn over, back post around the back post, yarn over, pull through only two, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your crochet hook. Go ahead and repeat this stitch all the way across. I will meet you at the end of this round and we will close off this round and I'll show you how we close off this beanie. Okay, just finished the end of this round, slip stitching into the top of that first front post double crochet stitch. And you will notice that there probably still hit is a bit of a hole in the top, and we're about to address that here in a second. But look at your beanie, isn't that pretty? Oh, I love this stitch. Okay, so grabbing your scissors, cutting a pretty long tail, I'd say about eight inch long tail here, then yarn over that tail, pull that tail through the loop on your crochet hook, pull tight and that's a tie off, great. Okay, so take your tail and we are gonna weave it into your yarn needle, tapestry needle. Perfect. And then this opening right here, we're going to take our yarn needle, tapestry needle and weave it in and out of stitches all the way around. Do, do, do. All right, 
right. Perfect, great. And then pull that tail and it cinches the top closed. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my yarn needle and I'm gonna go through the middle and I'm gonna turn my beanie inside out. That way when I tie off this loop or this string, it's all on the inside of the work. So I'm gonna take my yarn needle, come in through a stitch or the work, pull through, but hold some yarn back with my thumb here. I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm gonna twist the yarn so it makes this X shape, okay? Take my yarn needle, go at the bottom, through that center loop, slowly feed so I can control where the knot actually lands. And that's a slip knot and the work is tied off. Next, you can just take your yarn needle and weave in that end. I like to go in between the yarn so the fibers cling to each other. And then the trick for me to getting the weave in to stick is after so long, I'm gonna go backwards upon what I just did and that really secures everything in and make sure that nothing comes unraveled for me. But if you have another way of weaving in your ends that you like better, feel free to utilize whatever method you like. Now what's really, really cool about this beanie is it is reversible in effect. So we'll have to weave in this end also. But this is the beanie we just made. And of course you can add a pom-pom if you'd like to add a pom-pom. But this is the beanie we just made. But if you want to, you can reverse it or turn it inside out. And then you have the same beanie, but it is reversed where all of those back posts are now front posts and all of the front posts are now back posts. Isn't that awesome? I love it. All right, so if you would like to make a pom-pom for your beanie, I have two videos for you to watch. One where you can make your own fur pom-pom, which is so much cheaper than buying a pom-pom, unless you really wanna buy a pom-pom, then go for it. And I'll put that link here at the top of the screen. I will also put a link for if you wanna make a yarn ball pom-pom, then I will put that here also on the top of the screen and put links to those videos in the description section and comment section below this video. So that way you can have a quick access, click on that video and make yourself a pom-pom. Oh, I love this. I hope you had so much fun, guys. All right, so here's the beanie that we just made. Moment of truth, I'm gonna put it on. Oh yeah, this is the adult medium. Oh, I love this beanie, it's so cool. All right, I really hope you had a good time with this pattern. Again, if you had a good time with this video, please push that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Check out my membership program, see if you want a little bit more involvement. If you enjoyed this video, you might also really enjoy these videos that I have right here, more beanie tutorials that I have. Also, check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today and crocheting with me. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have the best day, and I will see you with my next video. Bye, guys.